and he killed. He destroyed. And at the end, he burst into tears, bro. And again, no, you got why this at coffee? He's gonna big, come on the show. Big standing ovation. Oh. People got. Gotta do a Dr. Maling. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, actually, he wasted his tears at Kofi. <laughs> <laughs> if he comes to cry here, Mac Wadi Jaja. Mac. Hey, hey. Where's he? The bodies are like the Agala swimming pool. How about the swim? Ladies and gentlemen, straight from Dubai, Sheikh Mugwema, in the fucking building. Sheikh Mugwema. It's only fitting because I'm the Sheikh of podcasts. Musaltoni wa musalto. Anyway, in the very very ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Podcast and Chill. We got a guest co-host, by the way. Give it up for Umpa Pops. You like part of the furniture now, man. You family, bro. Oh, man. Man. I think you're the only uh, celeb who's been on the podcast three times now. <laughs> I am, no? Yeah. The first one. Yeah. Can you give him some volume there? His mic is a bit low. Yeah, bring it closer there. Bring it closer. Yeah. It's better now. Yeah. They'll make you a meme. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, they'll make you a meme. Like, or monkey pox. <laughs> I forget itchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost ladies here as well. Yep, yep. I saw couldn't be here, man, because yeah. um, he's got um, he's got fever. He's got a rash. What else he's got? But he's not feeling well. He's man. got a flu. Yeah, he's got a fever. He's I'm Kalela. Like, oh. It's hard. It's Solomons. If you're watching the Supol and Tawala, yeah, okay. right. my dog. Yeah, but we're back. Noir, in... nila. <laughs> nila. <laughs> I will make sure your seat is warm and your invoice is taken care of. Skawara and Chaka. You got big shoes to fill there, eh? literally. Ah, no, no, <laughs> I was thinking about it, I'm like, fuck, man. Maybe it's Saul's body saying like, yo, take it easy, man. It is, guys. It you know? is. We, we are overloading us. Guys, you guys are on. Mm. You guys are proper on. You know what I mean? So besides, besides the podcast, Let's count everything else Sol is doing. Because yes. he's probably the hardest working yes. Yes. person. Oh, Him and Robert Boy, they, they, they're fighting for the title. <laughs> <laughs> hardest working person in showbiz. I mean, think about it. Think about it, right? Okay, cool. You're a random person. Normal person. Yeah. You wake up in the morning. You turn on the radio. You hear Sol. Mm-hmm. On Kai. All right, shut. You get to work. When you get to work, lunch break, you're like, ah, let me go on social media, see what's happening. Soul's Sold. trending. Yeah. Soul's trending. Soul's retweeting. Yeah. Commenting yeah. on every tweet. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you get home. You turn on your TV. Soul's Sold there. Well dressed. <laughs> presenting a show. Tailem rear. Ugutile's cheek. Utsaste makeup. You're like, when did this happen? <laughs> then you decide. And then you decide. Laptop. Yeah, no, no, no. Then you decide. Yeah, let me go on, on YouTube or something. Yeah. I'm tired yes. of TV. Let me go yeah. on YouTube. Fuck. <laughs> Soul's. <Solums. laughs> Just when you're thinking, okay, let me just go to the club. Yeah, yeah. he's going to kill. Look at my eyes. Okay, eyes. It's too much. It's too much. Too much. <laughs> No ways, it's too much, guys. So, so it's his body. But you probably had something like that because you do a lot of shit as well, bro. Yeah. Your I body know. says, nah. Your body tells you at some point, no, this is enough. Mm. You, you can't do this anymore. And that's the thing with us creatives. The busier you are, the less, I don't know if you've noticed, the less creative you are. Because oh. you're, just, you're just going, you're just like, let me finish, let me collect. But your creativity, Starts getting less and less and less. Only when you take a break does your creativity come back. Yeah, uh-huh. but the thing is, with this industry, you're only on top for so long. You're not going to be on yeah, top forever. That's the mentality. The mentality is strike. I don't like his mic. Can you move it up a bit? I can't hear him properly, man. Just move it up. Yeah, there we go. So the, the, yeah, the, the mentality is strike while you're hot, right? Yes, yes. And the thing is, <laughs> dog, if you're hot for a long time, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. Like, it's, it's not like. 
Look, and, and I'm not throwing shade at anyone, but there are people who literally have a season where like you, you have a hit for like six months or nine mm. months or a year. You're hot for that time. You can gig all out for a year. You guys have the biggest pod- podcast in mm, Africa. Mm, You're mm. going to be hot for a while. Mm. You know? And Sol is good at the other shit he does. Mm. He's good at his TV gigs. He's good yeah. at, his, at his radio gig. He's good at DJing. Mm. So you got five or six things you're hot at. Don't forget, you might go to a pageant and he's MC. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Baba. Miss Toyando 2022. <laughs> Shundufazo <laughs> Marinzi. <laughs> anyway, Ghost Lady, have you been to Dubai, bro? No, I've not. Oh, oh guys, ghost guys. Lady. Who's been to Dubai here? Hands in the air. Hands in the oh, air. Hands guys, in the air. Hands, hands, hands in the air. You got a fucking hands in the air. air. Ghost Lady, it is beautiful. It's it is unreal. pure opulence. It is like. Playground of the rich. Mm. It's like the buildings are huge. Everything yeah. is just big. Yeah. It's beautiful. Mm. I never knew there were so many POPs though. Yeah, there were so many POPs there. Oh. King, P- I thought you said POP. <laughs> <laughs> what? So many Shangan people in Dubai. What are you, what are you going on about? <laughs> no, no, uh, POP. Uh, proof of payment. Uh, like girls that you have to buy. Like this, that are selling. Oh, there was a lot of girls to buy in Dubai. Dubai. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so you started seeing familiar faces, Nagoleta. No, no, it's just like, they're just selling everywhere, bro. Yeah, dog, it's, it's where the rich play. It makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's why the red light district used to pump so much back in the day. Mm. is because you knew that was the best place to go mm. to get stuff. So, the red light district wouldn't just have ladies from Amsterdam. It would have ladies from all over the all world. All over the world. Because oh. they knew that was the street. Yes. To get the top quality. Mm, you know what I mean? Mm. So that's what Dubai has become because now we don't live in a society that goes, I ain't we are good red light district in your tang. Mm. Now I want to go to a place where it's disguised as. Yeah, of course. And that's what Dubai gives you. Yeah. You don't even have to mac, ghost lady. Mm. You just go, how much for a blowjob? 2,000 dirhams. All right, Azam. Oh, but that's a 2,000 for a blowjob. Ah. Ah. Habibi MacGyver! Chukawa! Then I just lift up my thing. He's like, says. I get a quote, Pelly. So yeah, naked, I get a quote. Mona get two. Malin. Three deram. Okay, Mona. Mona get one. Two. Enough. <laughs> there, there, there's, a, there's a girl There's a Russian girl We met at some hotel We're at like, There's a pool party From 11am The mm-hmm. pool party starts Until mm-hmm. like 10pm So We went out there And she wanted to have a threesome I was like Damn With another girl Or with No 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 With me <laughs> 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 No with me and oh, my, my woman <laughs> 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 No with me and my woman Cause oh, I went there with my woman. Yeah. She wanted to have a threesome. This Russian girl, man. Oh, what snap. did she say? Like, what did you, did she just? Who proposed it? Yeah, yeah. Who proposed it? No, she proposed. She was like, "Are you guys game for like? Obviously, the English is bad, uh-huh. but we could hear. Hey. You, know? you guys want to? <laughs> <laughs> you know, me, you, all of all of us. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and let me guess. At this point, you didn't answer. You just looked at your woman like. <laughs> We're never going to see her again. <laughs> Let's Vladimir put in the shit. <laughs> what do you do when you put in a situation like that, dog? Nah, bro. I mean, I mean, what can you do, bro? But it was wild. Like, they're just so free, man. Ooh. Yo. You know? And how much for the threesome? Did you uh, say? I wouldn't get to the price. Mm. We wouldn't get to the price. Oh. But it's so crazy. Like, um, uh, w- when did you go to Dubai? I went to Dubai before pandemic. I think 2019, mm. 2018. Um, and same, I went... Oh, it was, yo, guys, it was a magical trip. Like, mm. I experienced everything you're saying. You get there and you realize, Hor, it's just rich people and wealthy people. Yeah. Yeah. The rich are the middle class of Dubai. It's new money. <gasps> it's new... The, it makes, so the it rich makes, are the middle class. Yes, because the everyone there is rich. Yeah. And then there's the super elite yes. wealthy. It okay. makes the UK look like a village. Yeah, ne? It's like new money, bro. Mm-hmm. They all got money and they're all rich. They don't work. And it's the only country where the black people are not at the bottom. 
It's yeah. the Pakistanis and the Indians yeah. at the bottom. Oh. Yeah. Then the blacks. Then the, okay. Yeah. Okay. But what's crazy, what I wanted to tell you, you know, is that um, everything that you see in Dubai right now, 20 years ago, wasn't there. Yeah. It yeah. was a desert. It That's didn't almost, exist. Like, it's, it's almost like being in Dubai is almost like, have you ever been to Sun City? Yeah. You know when you start seeing where Sun City is actually built and it's not actually this lost palace. Oh. Because Sun City has this aesthetic, yeah, where it's this lost palace and, oh. these, and there's these rivers that run through it. But one day when you're on your balcony, you see the, the bubbles coming from the pump next to the yeah. river. You're like, oh, this is a pool, not a river. <laughs> <laughs> so Dubai is like that where you'll be by the beach and you realize, oh no, this is not actually a beach beach. Yeah, mm. It's these, man-made. Yeah. These seagulls were brought here. Yeah. These seagulls are not from here. Yeah. Mm. This water is still, I haven't seen a wave. So again, like there's, there's that whole thing of like Dubai is built mm. Mm. and you see it. Mm. But they did a... Magnificent, magnificent job. job. So how the guy did cool. it is the sheik now um, he used to travel with his dad, uh, the previous sheik, and go to all these countries. And he saw what people were doing like in other countries. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm going to do this for my people. So 20 years ago, that's when he started building wow. uh, 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 Dubai as we know now. And they're still continuing, bro. Like the, the Burj Khalifa, yeah. they're going to build another building bigger than that. What? Uh, did you go to the Burj Khalifa? Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah, you got it. You got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And also they're, they're building an underground city. Really? Yeah, they're also building their own moon. <laughs> hey, yep. what? Wait, wait, whoa! Hey. Pull it back! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hey, hey! Hey, Munna! Come back! Come back! Radimona, the Burj Khalifa, and all these things. Yeah. And their own moon! Their own moon, bro. Let me research don't, it for don't you. Don't they have a piece in Dubai? They've got like a piece of mm. land, or I don't know. I guess they know how to like get sand out of the water yeah. and turn it into land. Okay. So there's this project they've been working on that's shaped like the continents of the of the world. Oh, yes. And then you can buy that piece of land. So you can buy Africa. Someone can buy yes. Australia. And then you can basically build like a, a big house on it and, and have land. Uh-huh. Yeah. So uh-huh. that's the one thing I knew. that they, they, they literally built the planet again. Yeah. In water. Yeah. Now they're building a moon. Yeah, here we go. Five billion dollar moon-shaped hotel in Dubai will let oh, you experience wow. outer space on Earth. Hey, These niggas are wild. We can't keep the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> Other niggas are building moons. <laughs> hey, moons. <laughs> guys, we're not going to generator station. Hey, Aye, guys, no ways. No, a mo- five billion dollars for a moon hotel, my Stage dude. six of on like stage six of the moon. Hey, <laughs> not no shading. Yeah, no shading. Not no shading. <laughs> How did you feel though coming back to this load shit? Oh, bro, man. That's why a part of me hates traveling because you realize what a shithole of a country we live in. But, yeah. but we have so much potential. Like for one, the weather is shit there, bro. Like it's fucking hot. Okay. Every it's single- way too hot. And sometimes yeah. they don't report the proper heat because if the heat goes past a certain temperature, um, workers aren't supposed to work. Oh, oh is it? Yeah. So they'll always underreport. Ah, no, no, no. Hey, 49. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you 62? Oh, because they have to keep the economy <laughs> going. Yeah, keep the economy <laughs> going. <laughs> Bro, as soon as you walk out the airport, it's like a microwave. You can't yes. breathe. You can't, yeah. yeah. Yes. We experienced that, but we just, were just, it was just a layover there. So I know that feeling when you mm. pass Dubai, like of the heat. So when we left, when we came out of the aeroplane, it was just too hot. It we hits breathe. you, yeah. Know? The only other place I've, I've, I've experienced that is Nigeria. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Lagos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and 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 even in that heat, you'll see three guys on a bike together. <laughs> That's what I'm <laughs> wearing leather jackets. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on a bike, they don't want to sweat it. Where are you in eating jollof rice <laughs> on the bike? <laughs> Not sweating. <laughs> <laughs> wearing flip flops. <laughs> but when you realize that, you're like, fuck, man. If we had a better government, we could be like. Miles ahead, bro, because there's yeah, so yeah, yeah, much yeah. potential. Yeah, this yeah, country, yeah. we've got the weather. Fuck, we've, bro, got, we've the got, land. got everything. We've got weather. We've got well-educated people. We've got young people with dope, creative no. ideas. Mm. Right? Mm. We've got Elon Musk, who was born from here. You who can could, just send who him can back. just you know just help us build some but, energy. But that's the thing, because the government hasn't invested back into the country. It's now losing creatives. So your Elon yeah. Musk, they your Trevor are. Noah's, Everyone's your leaving. Black Coffee. When you go there, you're like, ah, I say, okay, I'll go there. Cut December. Kill us at the kick, and I say, say four. <laughs> and just chill best. with the family, get Briar. Come, Jen. <laughs> go on. There's this crazy thing they have. It's called U Drive. You literally, you literally request a car. 
you drive the car and then wherever you want to park it, you just leave it there. Mm. Bro, there's something even more crazier. Mm. Uh, there's a thing that you get as well, celebrities have overseas, um, where you can request, a, same thing, yeah. like Uber, mm. but for private jets. Whoa! Oh. Yeah. Well, I've seen that in Brazil, it's big as well. Yeah. Oh. You just, you request, and wherever you are, they'll find a way to get you from where you are to the, to the, the run field or the airport. Okay. So if you are in, let's say, New York and the nearest airport, they'll either send a chopper to meet you at this building and then it'll fly you there or they'll get a limo, they'll take you Ooh. to your plane and you fly out. Imagine. Bro, that's the kind of opulence I'm talking about. Mm. I went to an African restaurant uh, to have dinner and um, the food gets delivered by a robot. <laughs> it's wild, man. <laughs> Wait, was it an African robot? <laughs> no. <laughs> In an African timing. <laughs> 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 hey, while I'm chilling there eating my food, you know, biggest song in SA comes on. Hi, bro. Hey, my new single. <laughs> wait, wait, in Dubai. In Dubai. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I went to the DJ, I'm like, this is so, my song. It's so like, the phone came on. No. Ah. no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, you're coming with funny. <laughs> hey, <buddy. laughs> eh, eh, eh. So, so the DJ plays my song. I go up to him, like, this is my song. You can tell he doesn't know who the fuck I am. Oh, oh shit. I thought he played it because, you know, like, they yeah. do that in certain yeah. places. They're like, oh, he's here. Yeah. Let's yeah. play his let's song. Play a song. He, didn't, he didn't even know it was your he song. He didn't know it, bro. He didn't know me. That's when you know you have a hit. Bro. And it's so crazy. When we started what? the year, right? Um, uh, myself, Saul, and Ghost Lady. Uh, I asked them, what's your... Uh, uh, what, what did I ask you guys? What do you want this year? What's like your... Mm-hmm. Ghost Lady <laughs> 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 I want to say Guess what I got my babe <laughs> <laughs> And my thing is I wasn't really thinking about it I was just like ah, what, what do I want That I don't have right now I was like I just want a hit Hey Yeah and you've got a hit I got bro. six hits in the EP bro oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. God blessed me with six hits Hi, bro. Wait remember when you were like There's a song mm. I found in my archives Yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it this one No 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 Okay. No, he hasn't that, touched his archives. No. no, now he just put his name on. Yeah, I didn't produce any of these songs. I can't release my name, my songs. I... So you you poured the situation. Yeah, <laughs> I learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking about music, have you guys heard the brand new AKA? Ooh. Oh, yes. uh, lemonade. Yeah, lemonade. Yeah, I heard it, mm. uh, and I'm just glad everyone is on the bandwagon. You know. Mm. What? I'm not the only one. That song is very piano esque. What? I oh, know, man. It's good. I, I, I heard the song. I'm like, this song is dope, right? Yeah. And then I heard. The log drum. The log drum. Yeah. Yeah. The log drum. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, look, I give, I give this up to Ken, and Ken knows how to sample, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Like that music sounds better than with you, baby. baby. Yeah. That song is a smash. Yeah. So to take that song. And to get it to where it's at with this new record he put out, mm. ah, it sounds dope. I but nasty C on the. Oh. Yo! Oh. Yay! 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 It was nasty for me. Yay! Yay! Yes! Yay! Yes! What did you think, Ghost Lady? Yay! I, I just loved it more, especially for the fact that watch. You know, AK has gone through yeah. just to see him back, and he's actually at his same league. You know, it's like he's on, he's on his, like the AK we've known. Kenan is a hit maker. Yeah. So this I was just hit. happy. I'm like, yay, AK is th- back. I think Kenan is probably the best hip hop artist to come out of this country uh, after hearing that song. Yeah. Yeah, look, guys, you, you have to give it up to AK. Hit after hit after hit. Kenan is actually in love with the music. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't make music to it's suit timeless, whatever. timeless, yeah. bro. So, so Kenan cooks. Yeah. You know what I mean? He mm. goes into the studio and he cooks. Mm. He doesn't go, hey, what are people liking right now? What's the, what's the thing? What's the thing? Let me, let me just go. Let me just do whatever the market wants. Mm. He goes, I need to put out something that's a banger. Mm. And he takes time and he cooks. This song, I heard it. I was like, this is a hit. Bro, but I've how been, about KO though? Yo, so you put KO on the same league Insane. as well. Guys, KO, KO, because uh, we gotta talk about KO. longevity and yes. Yes. He's the Ryan Giggs of the game. Uh-huh. KO, ah, Antoine, yeah. KO, ah, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but I still lean towards AKA more, man. Uh, like no. that guy. Over like, KO, yeah, bro. Over KO. Do it longer. 
Uh, KO. KO though. KO, KO yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and he's got a big song right now, Sad oh, Days, sad killing it. So, oh. But that's what I'm saying is that um, I think from a reach point of view, obviously AKA, because AKA got the younger audience that grew with him. Now everyone's older. Even the young people are still, you know, what what with AKA. But I think KO, dog. KO's been on since Nakuele. Since Tear Gas. Since Tear Gas. Tear gas. The gas has run out. No. <laughs> it's just tears. <laughs> tears, it's just now. tears now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> From joy. <laughs> He's making us cry. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. It's so weird we talk about this. The other day on my on my on, on my random playlist, bro, Kara Kara came on. Oh. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, I banged, bro. You know when you're not expecting a song? Huh. That song is timeless, bro. K.O. They, yeah, no, they both K. make K. timeless did music, something. Man. You know the turning point of like any music uh, genre? Mm. Like the turning point of piano was Bo Shesha Keza. Yes, when yes, I, yes, yes. When Shesha Keza and them were coming out, that's when we were like, ah, piano's on now. Mm. When K.O. did uh, Karakara, Kara. Kara. Mm. And, and and everything that kind of followed around. Mm. Ah, dog. That's when, honestly speaking, for me, South African hip-hop was doing well. Mm. But that's what cemented South African hip-hop. Yeah. I'm so, shocked. I'm shocked you still listen to AK because what Usha be like Steen? Ah, I'm going to be like Steen, right, And I'm going to be not just any Steen. Face breed. What's the best thing I'm going to be like? I'm going to be like, fair. Could have been a graduate. <laughs> You quit school. Yes. And then you're like, oh, bitches like to laugh. Let me be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the only reason you became a comedian. Oh. <laughs> Together with laughter. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Guys, I used to okay. read, I grew up with a single mom, Nick Bala Cosmopolitan. Oh. <laughs> what do women like? Man with a make sense of humor. humor. <laughs> a guy makes me laugh. Can I go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I jokes. forgot to tell you guys in Dubai you can't Google porn. I tried. You can't. Hi, bro. Yeah. I also, yeah. also found out from a friend when I was there. <laughs> <laughs> what was your friend Googling? What My friend you? told me when he went on. <laughs> a message came up saying, hey, you don't want to do that. <laughs> really? Um, yeah. There's a, there's a thing that, there's a gif that comes up. <laughs> of a guy. <laughs> You can't, like it's bulletproof. Yeah. Even when you try, go through other channels, it goes, hey, hey. Oh. You have to go via Twitter. Yeah. Mm. My friend was also saying that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. I don't know if he said the same to you. Go, go black beats. <laughs> I think we have the same friend in common. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we both went with the same friend yeah. <laughs> Man, can we just go to Fucking Nasty C's verse, man This kid is fucking amazing, bro you Nah, know, but so dude, honestly Kenan Nah, pound for pound Kenan is a hit maker And, and I love what you said, Ghosty Like, even after everything He's been he's through Because he's through. been through a lot, right? Yeah. The fact that he can still deliver This quality of, And especially in the era Of everything piano Everything yeah. piano um, Look, I, I do I do feel like the song has a, a dope ass log drum in it. Yeah. It's not as piano as piano. No, yeah. you know who started it, that sound? It, it reminds me of like Sondela. You know that Sondela? Yeah, you know song. who started that sound? Uh, Tyler ICU. He did uh, the one with Ricky Rick um, and Lucas Raps. Um, Which one? Isn't it Sondela? In the club. Yeah, yeah that came Lucas after. That, oh, yeah, that came after. Yeah. Lucas Raps, Tyler ICU, Ricky Rick. What it is. What, what it is. is. What's up? Boom, boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the sound. Yes. That's the sound. Yeah. But that's because for me, I'm just like, guys, this thing of like hating on sounds, let's just jump on, bro. This is this is a sound that's ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we mm -hmm. own it. Yeah. No one else in the world owns yeah. the sound. Instead of fighting each other for the sound, because the sound can take us far. But I've studied Keenan. What he does is that um he samples dance music. Yeah. Uh drops yeah. The, the the BPM, makes it slower, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then gets a dope beat. And then kills the 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 the, the ver no, no no the chorus. Yeah. He always does the chorus, and then he gets a dope rapper to come add some spice. Ah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the dope rapper doesn't overpower him in the song, so you can't say nasty killed AKA because oh, like nasty was fire. Yo. 
Oh, oh ay, let ay, me read ay, you the. Here we go. Ay, Keep ay, a nice ay. thing with lips and curves in my corner. A ten on my lap. Maradona. Ay. I'm giving her some class. Cabernet Sauvignon. Her. I don't know what. The, what is that? That's it's a wine. wine. Oh, okay. Why wouldn't talk about Jean Fan? That's wine. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Here's my favorite line. When I made a gag, I was going for a tonsil. Yay! Yo. Yo. Do you know Yo. what that means? Yeah, Yo. Simpiwe. Simpiwe. <laughs> Have you experienced that? <laughs> okay, you know the tonsil link. <laughs> uh, when I made a dad, I told him I'm, I'm an apostle. Damn, that nigga a fossil. Now everything is all right. You see my new car, right? I pulled up in the show and they were sleeping. The energy weak. I gave them some motive. Zaba, 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 zaba. Always out the country. I guess I'm zai, zai. I think it's, uh, I get to, you know when someone's always out the country, what via, via, what zai, zai. Oh, oh, zai, zai. Yeah. Oh, zai, zai was a person. Oh, kazai. Oh, like kazai, like kazai. Yes. Okay, okay. When they pull me over, uh, oh, here's, here's, yeah. That's the mess, my wife. Yeah. When they pull me over, I'm black, I might die. No, SAP is cool drink, high five. Hi. Oh, no, I get it. Oh, no. S.A., what a place to reside. Yes. Do you get it now? Tides, Durban, the Evergreat Sun. Yes. Live on the highway, pepper steak pie. pie. No, you can't. <laughs> you know the pie. Yes. Yes. Pepper steak pie. <laughs> if, if, if you love the streets, you've had a pepper, pepper steak oh, pie yes. on the highway. Yes. Oh, man. Uh, but no, black don't, don't crack, so I bet I age fine. Got a little thing called ties. Rolled a little called dice. She rolled a little things called eyes. Rolled a little thing called rhymes. Never told lies. You just couldn't see it with your own eyes. Eesh. I know. I know. <laughs> Guys, I I know. Zai Zai, call me Zai Zai. Ah. Look, guys, I won't lie, man. Like, I I am a I'm the biggest piano fan in the world. Yeah, yeah. But it's. It's tracks like this that make you realize how much we've missed that mm. hip hop, that hip hop influence. You yeah. know what I mean? Like Oaks are talented out there. Man. Yes. Yeah. Oaks, like we. And what happened is, piano came on, and and hip hop kind of decided to backtrack a bit mm -hmm. or to go, let's wait or wh whatever hip hop was doing, mm. and we didn't have. Who's your top five, bro? In SA. In SA, piano oh. or uh, let's do hip hop first. Hip hop. Hip hop. Oof. Caspar your vest. Uh. <laughs> Ali <laughs> le man. What's up? What's up? He's gonna, he's gonna edit it out. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this out. Remove. People it. are gonna be like, why does he post top five and four? <laughs> nah, dude. Uh, I'm. <laughs> are you friends with him, bro? In your V. Yeah, oh, that's my dude, man. Yeah, that's my dude. He's, he's, he's good people. For real. And couple. They, they told me. Yeah, I like Kapo. Kapo is funny, like Kapo, funny as fuck, bro. With Kapo gang. Yeah. Kapo is funny. You don't think it's industry? Your vest. Your vest is a businessman, bro. Mm -hmm. mm. Your vest is. He he does what he needs to do to get on mm. and to stay on. Yeah. Whatever needs to happen must happen. And but it doesn't mean he must be a shit person. He can still do that and be a dope guy. Look at yourself. Hey, man. Like at his level, you know. And you never know what, what anyone has been through to, to become the person that they are. I just what, don't, what, whatever that is. Bro, you know I, I mean? just don't subscribe to this industry bullshit, man. I hate this, it with the, a passion, bro. There's some people that are like, and it's weird, and it's happened to me with a lot of, with a lot of guys that, are, that I know who are industry. There are people who can, like you and I can chill like this, right? Yeah. Any fucking time. Even without the cameras. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then there are people that when you chill with them like this, Rousseau, we're mm -hmm. like this, we're exactly like this. And then all of a sudden, four people enter the room and they become industry. <laughs> and they become, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we don't drink this. What is this? Get this away. Hey, make sure we get this. We only eat this. We don't. And you're like, yo, bro, we want. So who does that? Who does that? You want, you want like this? Who does that? I'm not going to mention any names. I, oh. You know? I don't know. This is it like that in comedy? <coughs> no. Yeah, comedians, comedians just... are the most down to earth yeah. people because our job is like, 
to listen to the world. You know, yeah. we, we study human behavior. Mm. So you can't act up or switch up yes. when you're a comic. A lot of that you'll find with uh, telenovela stars, mm. soap stars, you know, people who have... who have Musicians. Musicians. They don't know how to turn off the... Let's, I'm not famous anymore. Yes. Turn off, just go yes. back to normal. Yeah. Oh. And, you, and they, and you they take it, it makes, home. They take okay. it home. They take it with them when they go out and it's heightened mm. when they're around other people. Or they're around other people like them. Oh. And then they look at you weird like, how? MacGyver. Why, mm. are, you Why are you wearing flip-flops? <laughs> what, how? We're here. Why aren't we? Mm. You're just having a beer. Why aren't we? Mm. Oh. Sparkling lights. And it's like, no guys. You, you know, be famous on TV and the things you need to do. You don't have to go out and make people feel a certain way or make people feel uncomfortable around you. Mm. You know, I, I watch things like that, bro. How you treat people that you're with. Yep. And how you treat people that work for you. Yeah. Mm. You know, you, ha- you see how they treat their PAs or, they, or their drivers or stuff like that. You're like, oh, guys, mm. there's no need for... So, so I get you when you say industry. Mm. There are people who are like, industry. But what, what most people don't have, and that's, that's what I'm saying to you, is don't forget, people don't have this family system you've built. Oh, you know, you can still be MacGyver because you have all these people that keep you grounded. No, 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 shake MacGyver. Oh, no, shake, shake quips. Nah, bitty bitty, shake quips. What's up, boy? Kitty, kitty seven, study robot. Robot boy, what's up, MacGyver? Time to break. The train killer song. Anything else? <laughs> 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 Can we not talk about Dubai in the next episode, please? Go. <laughs> Just like oh, you did with the UK. It's a must. It's a must. My boy's from Dubai. <laughs> hey, did you, did you have They know love? him. Did you have <laughs> love? Like a horse pipe. <laughs> <laughs> KO is in my top five, hands down. Hands down. Uh, Blackie. Ooh, you made it in the top five. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Nah, He's definitely. actually nominated for a BET. Yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. about damn time, man. Yay. Yeah. Kid is talented. Blackie. Um, Rouge. Rouge. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't expecting yeah, no, that. No, no, no. Yeah, I, no, Rouge. Just, dude, just, I, Rouge, Rouge is fire. And you mm. know where I saw Rouge work hard? It's so weird. Um, and this is not the, like the actual platform, but like I saw Rouge have to do raps about different topics every week on like, <coughs> sorry, some Castle Light show she did with Donovan. Oh, yeah, yeah the Castle yeah. Light show. Yes, yes, yes. I remember So that. to see her, because Rouge is talented, right? Yeah, like yeah. I, like I, I dig everything about her. But to see her adapt to that week in, week out and to still kill it, I was mm. like, ah. <coughs> I, I, I mess with Rouge. Mm. Nasty. Woo. Definitely an art of. Damn. On. There's come a lot on. of new school cats in your yeah, top five. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the old school guys that I that I F's with are gone, you know, so I'm not going to put them in the list. Mm. I, I, I'm a, I'm a proper flabberisto, me. Mm. Oh. Flabber. Mm. Yeah, no, flabber was. Double HP. Mm. Flabber. Flabber. Mm. Grab the pull by the horns. Stakeholder. Come mm. on. Oh. Oh. Come on. <laughs> What's Slicker saying at that time? Ah, oh, Slick. <laughs> I couldn't afford to pay the bill because Ben Clue paid you. <laughs> I think after that line, Slicker was like, "Hey, this hip hop thing's not working." <laughs> Slicker quit after you he heard quit. that line. He, he was went in offline. They were playing the song back. 
couldn't pay the foot to pay the bill because my club paid you. Who's that, dog? <laughs> Usemba can be putting your pill to the asking you for a oil or oil. Why oil is large when you know I'm super I can't afford to pay the bill. You know, top of guys, when they ask you, do you want spring still water restaurant? No, no, tap. Tap, tap. Baby, I can't afford to pay the bill. I'm super kill. <laughs> oh shit! I, I, number one, number one. <laughs> oh man! So yeah, so 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 like I said, Java, Java, and Java and uh, Flabber. Flabber are like my yeah. faves, my faves, yeah. my faves. No uh, man. Uh, no cool cat. Hey, cool wait a minute! So wait, how do, I, how do I forget Questa? Guys, no ways. Mm. So I've been a Questa fan. From day one, yeah. From and I think that's where the reason why also like Flaba became such a big thing for me is because he started working with Questa. Oh yes, yes. Right. Bada bing, yeah. Nah, my number one's Questa. Mm. Okay. Nah, hands down. Mm. Also, what he did to these uh, oaks with this uh, battle thing that was happening, guys. Questa oh, yes. has a way with words in different languages. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he can do wordplay in English. Do it in Zulu, do it in Swana, in the same song. That's crazy, man. So yeah, so I'll go, yeah, I'll go Nasty, Blackie, KO, um, Questa. No AKA. AKA. No Java. No, Mars Java's, I wouldn't say Java's more hip hop. Yeah, that's ambitious. The, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have to hear what Java's songs sound like when he's alone. <laughs> <laughs> What's no, been no, happening, man? What do you guys think about this Kayla Kumala thing? I haven't been following it, but it sounds wild, man. This week, what happened? Hey, man. Also, Ghost, you, you're going to have to fill us in because I'm. there's too many things happening now. There's, guys, this thing happened how many years ago? A few years. Yeah, it's a few been years, minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. Like in 2014, and right? 2014. Yeah, That's eight like years eight years ago. Because what I heard, I'm paraphrasing you. I don't know the real story. Yeah. Fact check it, you'll check for me. But what I heard is that apparently the, the, the sister... And Kelly, Senzo was fucking the sister. Yeah, basically. Was also sleeping with the sister. Damn. You see what I mean, right? So, I, I, I oh, fact checker, fact checker. Yeah, can you give her a mic there? Yeah. Give her the mic. Yeah? Is it true, Beba? I don't know if it's true because it's speculated. But apparently yeah. there's a witness who will be coming forth to state that that was the whole argument in the house. Fuck. Does this witness have a show on Moja Love? <laughs> <laughs> Opa follow up. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. So there's a witness in the pipeline who can verify Hori. <coughs> These ones were chowing each other mm. on the side. So, 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 does that now change the narrative? Does that mean that this could have been instead of it being someone else? Could this have been like a... Yeah, because it, it, it seems a like... A domestic violence case. Yes, mm. where Kelly shot uh, Senzo, Senzo after finding out... Oh, they say or, sometimes... Or, and, oh, it's... Um, or they say, was, was Kelly trying to shoot the sister? Ah. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm trying yeah, to yeah, find yeah. out. And then Senzo... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, keeper. Ah! <laughs> 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 I'm <in> echo, huh? <laughs> Ladies and gents, my name is Saul Salom Zipenduka. I've lost weight, but I am Saul. This is not. Oh, shit. No, no, no. 
but this is wild. It opens. You're right. No, it opens up okay. a can of worms. That's bro. what I'm saying, right? Because now it becomes. Or maybe it's Lungi who now finds out Sense was chowing his girlfriend and he shoots. You know, oh. Mm. Because the way we were told was this thing was a robbery. Yes. Right? Someone popped up. They were all chilling together. Gun went off. That's what we've known for eight years. Mm. Now there's all these stories surfacing. No. Mang mang natural mang mang. The best friend ran away. This is what I'm also, one of the things I, because I've also haven't been keeping up with the case, but one of the things I heard was his best friend when the gunshot went off, he ran into the next door room mm-hmm. or bedroom and tried to jump out there, but I told her the battle pass. And there was no fast league. I'm shy. So I'm like, if it was, so, so again, right, back to our speculation or, 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 or whatever the speculation is, if it was someone who's well known within the circle who shot Senzo, why would I, as the best friend, run out? Mm. You know what I mean? Why wouldn't I be like? Because if it, if it's a random person who's come in and started shooting, yes, we all run. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we'll regroup later. Or, hey, mm. what happened? But if it's one of us and the gun goes off by mistake, why am I running? Why am I trying to jump out the window? As but your this, best mate. But this narrative kind of fits because if you think about the way Kelly has been moving in the media, she hasn't been like a a widow who's sad that Senzo. She's never like. Gone and done the whole Manza thing, wearing a black, hey, justice for Senzo, fighting for, you know, we want to get to the bottom of this. She's just been low key. But hasn't she been like at the center of like people bashing her? Yeah, people blaming that's also, her, yeah. You know what I mean? So, so Kelly's had to like handle this whole situation differently because people have blamed her. Mm. It's like what, what's happening with this. There's an American rapper who recently. Uh, got killed PNB I think Yeah oh. Punk rock uh, Something Yeah right And people are blaming His girlfriend Because they say She tagged the location Where they were at <laughs> On social media mm. Mm. They, so, so they tagged That we had Roscoe's chicken and waffle Here here You know the proper Date night vibes mm. We in the rolls oh. We got our Louis Vuittons We got our Rolls Royces But on her Insta stories She tagged where they were mm. And then They Obviously, got robbed And we got found. killed right yeah. Same so, thing happened to the she got, she got wigging over there. She making a move on her. Ah, I know, no, no, no. No, no, I know no. exactly what you're talking about. He also gave it. Pop, pop smoke. smoke. There yes. we go, yes. So, Same so, thing. So now they're blaming her, right? <clears throat> and it's like, guys, this thing happened. Mm. You know, they, like, this, they, these two people were in a relationship. Oak got popped. He died. She's mourning. Mm. But social media is going, this is your fault. Yeah. You shared the location. Mm. You did this. So that's what's been happening to Kelly, right? Mm. Kelly's been getting the flag from day one. Yeah. Even before these things surfaced of, mm. hey, maybe Oswakai mm. Najola le Lemoto or or even the fact that she could have pulled the trigger. All these and things are only surfacing also, now. For the fact that um Usenzo was also married, you know, and he yes. could be there. Well, Side chick, you know. Yes, Kelly but if, the, so... if that story is true, then it, paint, it paints a bad light on Senzo. Because, I mean, dude, this is your side chick. Now you're chowing the side chick's sister. But I get anything after a wife. Exactly. <laughs> Already he was bad. Because <laughs> <thing's cool. laughs> <laughs> it was like, like oh, he was also, taking the 442 okay, formation too far. I want to know from a, from, a, from, a, from a side chick point of view. <laughs> when. <Buena. laughs> He was taking it literal. <laughs> I, I want to know, right? Um, ghosty, I don't know if you've ever been a uh, lady fact check. I don't know if you've ever been okay. uh, a side. Oh. As a, as a, uh, I was been a side. So know. as a side chick, know. do you have the right to be upset that there's another? Mm. No, you can't. That's a good question. No, you can't be upset. Because you're a side, right? Yeah. Especially if you know. But I get you're the side. So, can't you be upset because... You are the... the Yeah. You're doing this because official you're side. getting away from this. Mm. So, that's That's when you you're entitled side, to the side position. Now, if you are feeling entitled to the side position, you feel like you are the only... But at the end of the day, there can be another side of a side. You know? Mm. When you go to a restaurant, I mean, they say we offer you two sides. Yeah. Or three sides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? So yeah. And the slicker says, says, no, no, not, not for me. The slicker has that. <laughs> Can't afford to pay the bill. I'm <laughs> stupid. <laughs> 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 
Uh, fat Jacker, if you ever been aside, <laughs> let's hear from a 2000 point. Yes. Please. Hmm? No, I haven't been aside, fortunately. How would you know? A friend of know. yours, maybe, that you might know? I almost did. Oh. But I cut it once I found out. So yeah. no, that there I was did a not stick. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so you were aside for a while? Yeah. Mm. How did you find out? Obviously, people will always be talking. And he was popular. He's in the fashion vibes. So oh. it got out. Mm, 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 and yeah. I Wait, I don't out. understand. So what got out? The word. I can't disclose who he is, but mm. he he's a designer. So mm. he has celebrity friends. And the word got out that you're not the only one. Uh-huh. There's a main. Uh-huh. So you David have to sideline. Yeah, I thought okay. David Charlie was... Next <laughs> 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 thing. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <That's a thing>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it McG? The fashion McG? Mm-mm, I can't disclose. Mm. Are you are you into Mac G's? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a shake. That's a shake. I thought you just said you can have more than one wife now. I win. <laughs> uh, anyway, Ghost Lady, what else you got for us, man? What's been happening? What's been happening, Ghost Lady? So, guys, have you heard this? Um, the relationship here, um, Prince KB and Uzola. Like, so there's just been a lot of people, like... Zola. Seven. Which no. Zola? <laughs> Her uh, name is Zola. Hey, hey. <laughs> Keep saying. Her name is oh, Zola. Okay, Her name, okay, yes. Okay. So there's been trouble in paradise to the point where, which was kind of interesting for me, was that she actually wanted him to cut off his mom financially. Yo! Would you guys allow your woman to, like, take you to the extent of saying... You must cut off your mother. Fuck, you know, are talking to mad. the two biggest mummy's boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think, and, and, and uh, tell me if I'm wrong. We're, we're the type of sons, our moms would rather drive the Bentley yeah. and we drive the yeah, Toyota yeah, 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 yeah. with those boys. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So fuck, that ain't happening. Yeah, so, yeah. so that could never happen. Never, 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 never. Ah. Forget about it. But isn't she cheating as well? Yeah, so that was the first way all of this started is that she's also apparently cheating mm. and because of there were rumors of Prince KB cheating and now she's is retaliating. He, is he cheating with someone that works in fashion? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I think, yeah. Yes, we found it, get that guy. We, we're going to get it. We're going we're we're to find We're going to find it. <laughs> Just the guys we're thinking about don't we found the fit side. The fold, you know what I mean? <laughs> is it is it as worse when a celebrity male figure is cheating as opposed to the female of that celebrity? <coughs> so like if Prince KB was cheating, is it as bad as his wife cheating or his girlfriend? Do you get my question? I get your question because you know, I, I think we go, okay, in the relationship. This is the famous one. Yes. This is the it's one who, who makes the money. This is the one who's who has more temptations and mm, whatever mm, mm. to yeah. face. It's obvious. And then, bah, it ends up being the wife mm. that ends up cheating on him. It is a bit of a shock to the system. That's why when you hear news like that, you go, she's cheating probably because he cheats. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know always I mean? have a you, reason. You never think, ha, ah, how could you do uh, Prince KB like that? You think, who? what has he done to, in order. to push her? To get to the point where Okay, which cheats. one which one will have more likes on Musa Kaule's page? Prince KB cheating? These are his eight girlfriends. Or the wife. Or the wife is cheating. Definitely the wife. Why? That's what I'm trying to understand. Why is it like that? Because you don't expect the woman. You, 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 you don't, you don't expect... expect the woman, number one. Uh, or never mind just the woman. In in a relationship of the person who's the higher power, mm. you don't expect the the other person to be the one doing that. Mm. Not, even if the roles were reversed. Even if it was the woman who was famous. And the guy wasn't famous, and he's cheating. You know, mm. you know, like a like a mom kisses mm. ex husband, mm. and you and you're like, ah, winter, winter, oh boy, this pillar can jump, ah, no, it's not a rap <laughs> yet. But <laughs> Clementine, <laughs> Clementine, you don't know this, I'm a bitch. Oh, I get you. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's yeah. like, it's, it, it, whatever the scale is. It's a status really, thing. It's not yeah, a gender thing. Right? So, so the one that's going to get the more traction is the one who's done wrong to the person. So, the wife will obviously get, the wife cheating, or, or Zola cheating in this case, mm. will get more traction on a, on, a, on a gossip page because we're like, yo, what did homie do? Mm. Or for people who might have other backstories, they go, oh, this is revenge 
for when he sent that two page BB. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> ah, yeah, I see more need less song. Yeah, ah, Prince KPI. <laughs> his, his fingers didn't even touch. Did you remember? <laughs> they didn't go all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> His hand was up here. You've seen him, DJ. He's got big hands. It finished here. They were still like. <laughs> ah, hi guys. Ah, hi guys. Ah, ah. I'm not the only one that saw that thing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So, oh, so, so you see that and you go, oh, maybe that's because of his behavior. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Nah, I got you. Decided, he decided to step out. But either way, man, like. What happened to Vusita Maguire's man. wife? The reason they're getting a divorce? She was on drugs or something. I read an article. She was on drugs or something. Is that Please what, check it is that what Vusi is saying? Is that like a fact? Yeah, in court or something. That's what he's saying. No, but he no, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm asking. I'm saying, is it, is it Vusi's statement or is it like a, is it a thing that they that they found out in the case? Check check the article for us, David. Check. It. But there's a GPV case, like mm. yeah, because like, he allegedly like beat her. Mm. So that's. Have you ever been cheated on while you were famous? Uh. While I was famous, why do you have your hand up? <laughs> what do you know? Fact check. <laughs> fact check. It's on the visitor. <laughs> you the designer. <laughs> Um, no, it's on the Vusi Timber Guaya case. Um, it doesn't say anything about um, the drugs, but it does stipulate that there were gender violence. Cases or no, man. I'm so telling again, you, I again, read this see, 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 see what, why I'm asking. Or isn't right? that what he alleged about her? That's yes. what, yes. Yes. That's what yes. it's stipulating it? that he alleged it, yes. but it's not stating that she was on drugs. No. I don't see anything mm. about her. So it's both drugs. alleged on on both sides. Both sides. Because let's not forget what these what these things do to people's careers, right? Because. Yeah. Mm. We know Vus Tembukwai as Vus Tembukwai yes. from Missoula Mini Crisis. You know, Vus Tembukwai. Yeah. So then this thing surfaces, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's, it's one of those things where you're just like, what? Vusi hitting his wife doesn't make sense. Mm. Now all of a sudden, wife is on drugs doesn't make sense. Mm. We don't know, right? So mm. I'm just like, with, with things like this, where there's an alleged on this side, alleged on this side, we almost have to let these things play out. Otherwise, we'll find ourselves in, in a position where People's careers have ended, guys. Look at Tolles Moore. Tolles Moore, Moore, right? Yes. Three and a half years. Mm. Was it that long? Three Yo. and a half yeah. years. This man has been battling um, a rape allegation, yeah. right? But for that three and a half years, people weren't like, let's wait and see. No. For three and a half years, people were like, there were That's groups, it. there were what, what. Mm. There were people who were like, mm. yeah, Mo, what. He got pulled off Everything. Everywhere. He got cancelled on everything. Mm -hmm. I actually got the pleasure of watching Mo's first show yeah. on Tuesday. Yeah. Aww. Yo, guys, How it was, was it? the most emotional wow. thing. When he walked on, we were at Kofi in, yeah. in, in Centurion. Centurion yeah. When he walked on, he got a standing ovation. Wow. He went on stage. He was, I spoke to him before the show. He was super nervous. Yet, imagine, you haven't been on stage for three oh, and a half shit. years. Yeah. Comedy is one of those things, it's a muscle. You yeah, have to yeah, keep yeah. training it to be oh. like soccer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He went on stage and he did like he did almost an hour. He did about 45 to 50 minutes on stage. Oh. And he spoke about what he went through. Wow. Twasa. Wow. He spoke about things only Mo could talk about. Yeah. And he killed. He destroyed. And at the end, he burst into tears, bro. And again, no, you got why this at coffee? He's gotta big, come on the show. Big standing ovation. Oh. People go. He's gotta do a doctor Maling. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's actually, cry. he wasted his tears at COVID. <laughs> <laughs> if he comes to cry here, ah. Mac, what did you do? Mac, hey, hey, <laughs> where's the the bodies and the Angela swimming pool? How about the swim? Yeah, we need that. Pull out the banking details. Please, at the bottom. Yeah, we need that. No man, Torres more wasted his tears in Centurion, man. Hey, those tears have helped. Yes. <laughs> Hey, what boogie, what? <laughs> New gig, what is yours? Come on, perform at halftime. Thanks, bye. Thanks, bye. <laughs> oh, thanks, bye. 
Na ke wa itse hei go na gana wetsa hit le motho o tla o zama zama o ne o ne tsa Hey hey Hey, you're telling me the other day. Uh, Pori gave him 25,000. Oh! My Pori, so yeah. Really? Nice. Yeah, man, he's doing well. You're right, man. Like, I no, follow him doing, on WhatsApp yeah. now. So I follow, I follow him on social... I've always followed him on social media. <laughs> Dog, <coughs> for everyone who says the podcast, uh, what, what, you know, all the, all the post- podcast haters. Yeah. I'm looking at you right now. Uh. Guys, when you come on the podcast, your life changes, guys. Life your changes. Boy, I know. Hey, let's get that new one up and run for some more. Ah, come next week, Saturday, heritage celebration. What is up? Kung 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 kung. Lingas. Entertainment. How many bookings did Lingas get after the show, Yay. guys? Yay! Immediately after the show, a makazi raga la. Everyone followed. This man is booked. And and one thing that really touched my heart is I think he, he tweeted that he he's managed to pay a certain amount. Yeah, hundred thousand. Yeah, 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 two stars. Two stars. Yeah. Yes. Boom, dog. Look, Look at, at that. that. He's T- back. Tell them about the story of you the Baba. The one you, well. you, you were telling us before oh, uh, yes, uh, you came on the show. Yes. Yeah. yes. So so I remember you see talking about uh, coming on the podcast and mm. and 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 your life changing. So one of the first things I did in the beginning of the year uh, when I came out of rehabilitation yeah, yeah. I came to the podcast. Mm. I remember we spoke when I was still in rehab and, mm. and you were like dude when you're done was okalelala. Yeah. But you are called so kalil. So la marost. Kalani ba. When you so kalil is not going away. Was okalala. Yo man, so 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 before I came to Kala, you know, uh I remember the one time when I when I was because I was I was in rehabilitation in White River, right? And what they took us on an excursion on, on, yeah. on one of the the days we went to the big swing, you know, mm. jumping off. You oh, know, yeah. you have to do activities to get mm. you into the swing of things. <laughs> so the one of the shops that was there at the big swing was this uh, shop, Dibaba. Mm. And I remember I got to Dibaba. I asked the the two ladies working there, "What's Dibaba?" But no, it's a local brand. What 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 what? Oh, dope. I bought a top. I bought a sweater. Didn't think anything of it. Sharp, boom. Yeah. Then, when I got out, I remember you were like, "Hey, dude, what's your card?" Mm. Right. And then we made an arrangement to come to the podcast. And on that day, I wore my black Dibaba top. Mm-hmm. I wore black Dibaba top. Mm-hmm. We had our interview. Turned out to be a dope ass episode. I think we're approaching nine hundred thousand. For real? Hey, yeah. Shit. Not that I check all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but the light is humbad, uh, you okay. know? Okay. <laughs> is, is it the one where we've got lost lava in the bag? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I rock this Dibaba top. We have our episode dope, sharp. Last week, uh, I'm in Rosebank, right? I'm going to Shelf Life mm. to, go, to go get sneakers. And there's this guy literally outside of shelf life he sees me he's like Sean mm. so normally I'm like hey, I can see, I can smell a conversation coming yeah, yeah, yeah. so let From me hit, yeah, yeah so let me hit a Sean Tanga and walk past, yeah, past yeah. you know so I'm like Sean my guy quickly go into shelf life I'm going to my Uber yeah in, <laughs> bro I must have spent like 15 20 minutes in shelf life wow. you know looking at stuff I, like I get along well with everyone in shelf life when I come out this dude is waiting for me at the at the door I'm like yo this guy 20 minutes. He's probably he's been waiting here. For now you feel minutes. bad. Now I feel bad. And yeah. he's got his phone out. I'm like, yo, this dude's been waiting for a picture for 20 minutes. Wow. Yeah. So I approach him. He's like, hey, show him poser. Mm. You know, he introduces himself. Mm. And then he goes, yo, man, you have no idea what you've done for my business. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, I'm Dibaba. Hmm. I own Dibaba. And you went on the podcast and you wore one wow. of my t-shirts. And ever since your episode on the podcast... Oh. Business has been booming. Mm. He's like, immediately after the episode, it blew up. Wow. People wanted Dibaba merchandise. They got a hold of me. 
I've been printing, I've been moving units. And he's like, he had a, a, a business uh, in Joburg. So the barber's actually from this mm. side, from Kokas. But it was under, the store was unsuccessful and I think COVID hit and he got an opportunity, I think through tourism, oh. to go and open up where I saw him by the mm. big swing in Pumalanga. And that's one of the franchises he had. But since the episode, it blew up, right? Wow. Dibaba blew up. Mm. Dog, I don't know. I just that's wore crazy, Dibaba top man. to come see y'all. He's was Kalel, right? Wow. And then, in, in his... So, he, while I was in shelf life, he quickly ran to his car, mm. found like three tops, put them in a bag and came. Mm. So, while he's holding his phone, he's got a, a pack of stuff. He's like, yo, here's some t-shirts. Oh. I hope they fit. I just want to say thank you. Uh, we exchanged numbers. That's a black like, person. It's a black dude. Oh. A black even better, dude, even dog, better. you know? Oh. And so when you gave me a call to say, Hey, Ntwana, mm. so we shall we monkey pox. Ntwana, <laughs> <laughs> I am back. He's a car, He's a car, Ntwana. I have it in my head to think it's not monkey pox. It's all the bags that Sol has been getting. They're too much. They're too much. He's <laughs> There's too much money. <laughs> He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know. No tenga, no tenga, ni. See what the fuck is that? Yes. Yes. So easy. So dog, when you called me to say come through, I remember thinking because normal thing like yes, what am I gonna wear? And I saw the bag. I was like, ah, I let me rock. Go. So this I literally pulled out of the bag that wow, he gave me. Man. Last week, and to think, like you literally called me mm. just now. Ah. Let's rock. Fucking hell, that's ah, amazing. Dibaba. Speaking about black businesses, man, we've got another chiller. So, this is a Wi Fi power supply. So, during load shedding, mm -hmm. if you want to power your Wi Fi, this is the, the baby you should get. Oh. Wait, so what does it do? Like, does it have its own yeah, so like battery? A, yeah. So, if you've got a router, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's say this is the router. You plug that into your router, and during load shedding, your Wi Fi will stay on. Oh, it's like a power bank for your router. Yeah. Okay, that's dope. How long does this last? Uh, about four hours. Black ah, owned company. That's dope. Ah. Black owned. Yeah, black owned man. He's a chiller, pushing. So it's Wi good for this stage six because yeah. now it's going. Kestan yeah? Nelson. Yeah, this is what we need for stage six. Uh, the power supply has a built-in rechargeable battery. When there's yeah. load shedding, the battery sits by powering the router and fiber box for up to four hours. When electricity comes back, the device will take an hour to fully charge since it will be connected to the main power so oh, that's socket. Dope. Ah, that's dope. The device works for all fiber routers and LTE routers. Once connected, you don't need to disconnect and, and it connects automatically. Oh. So how do we how do we practice? Yeah, how yeah, do we yeah, yeah. Let me get, how let much me get, is yeah, it? man. Let me get the details. But you see, people are pushing, man. People are pushing, man. It's so great to see. And we need to support each other. That's whether whether, whether it's exactly. consciously or unconsciously. You know what I mean? It's that simple. Uh, you can follow this them on Instagram, kestamelson.ups. That's K-E-S-T-A. Well, I'll put everything up. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so, so that we know how much it is, where we, yeah, where we can get it. Yeah, Please. yeah, yeah, man. But uh, fuck, man. That's amazing, bro. That's amazing, man. That's all we got to do as black people, bro. Just support each other. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. That, we, we must, you know. Like, we, if ever there's an opportunity to put each other on, we must put each other on, guys. Mm. Mm. I, there was a time I, I phoned Mac because there's there, you, I was at the gym, right? Are you still gymming, by the way? Hey, man, I did we for like a week. Yeah, I did for a week. <laughs> you went to gym for one week. Hey, yeah. hey, no, no, no. You can't commit to nothing. Eh? <laughs> Except drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this guy that I gym with and he was like, you know, uh, he looks, I, I call him small Zulu. Mm. He, lo he looks like big Zulu without the dreads. Oh, you know? Okay. So he... I remember the one time with Jimming, he comes up to me, he's like, hey, my guy. <laughs> Small <laughs> Zulu, big Zulu. <laughs> you catch it now! <laughs> I mean, if I don't know your name, I'll give you a name. <laughs> no, but this guy literally comes, you know, his name's Derek. He comes to me, he's like, yo, man, can I talk to you after gym? So I'm like, ah, you know, you know, we always have banter, let's chat. Mm. Oh, immediately after gym, we sit there by the Kauai. This man hits PowerPoint presentation. Wow. Oh. I am Derek. I work for this and this and this. I had MacGyver saying he's struggling with his grandiose. <laughs> yeah. So I can get him here, here, here. What, what? So he has a whole PowerPoint presentation. Mm. Hey. And he's like, 
if you can help me, put, I, we can put him on, we can do this. Uh, and then, you know, you can cut a deal. I'm like, yo, I don't want nothing, bro. Yeah. If you say you can get my boy into mm. all the, the topses and what, what, mm. yeah. here's his number. Mm. You know what I mean? And I literally, I said, give me your number, I'm going to give it to Mac. Yeah. Mm. And that, that's all I did. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's, I feel like as, as black people, if, we, if you're in a space where you can move someone on, yeah. yeah. Don't do it because you're gonna stand benefit. to benefit. Yeah. I think that's going into a common government rule. Yeah, is yo man, let's build something. No, no, no. But I need to get something. Yeah, mm. I'm the one that connected you to the guy who makes the tar. Mm. Mm. So I need, no guys. Just get the tar done. Get, yeah. Just get it done. Get it oh, done. He can do it. Let oh, you do, do this. You can do that. Mm-hmm. Here's the people. Boom. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. So that whole part, I said through a 42 minute PowerPoint presentation, oh. only to say. I'll get the number. Okay. You know and the I thing mean? is, you might not even claim that now, but because of that relationship you've built with that guy, or the Debaba guy, right, for yeah. example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in 20 years' time, which is what I saw with Drip, because we started at the same time when nobody knew Drip, not even Casper. How <laughs> How No, I'm just How putting it up. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Shut, shut, shut. <laughs> So it was a startup, right? <coughs> and look how big Drip is right now, right? Mm-hmm. So imagine, so just because of your relationship with this Dibaba guy, if your daughter grows up and wants to be in fashion and Dibaba now is Louis Vuitton exactly. of fashion, you look at that. he's just a phone call away. Yes. To like, yo, my daughter, boom, boom, boom. Yes. Which is what these white people do. Mm-hmm. That's how they g- keep generational wealth. Exactly. So that's why if we can put each other on, guys, if we can put each other on, let's put each other on. Just plug. Just plug. Just and play. Plug. Plug and play. Because <laughs> one day, you can come from being super gill <laughs> to affording to pay the bill. And zai zai. And zai zai. Hey, by the way, Grand Jeu is now available at all macro stores. So head out to your nearest macro and get yourself a bottle of Grand Jeu. Ghost Lady. Are they restocked in Tuana? Yeah, hey, they're always sold out. Hey, hey, I was at macro the one time. Uh. I'm buying Grenjo. I'm like, ah, guys, where's the Grenjo? But ah, the truck never made it. Yeah. Can I let me, you know, when you're like, I, I don't like to name drop, but yeah. you know, in the moment when you're just like, hey, let me phone my boy. With yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mac Ntwana. What's up? Lana Shelfie M. I'm a Piliato Apart. I feel your heart in that. They're making me do this. <laughs> but you couldn't afford the bill. <laughs> I couldn't afford the bill. I couldn't afford the bill. I had grandeur money. <laughs> so I'm looking at the grandeur uh, aisle. So I'm iPhone Mac. Antoine. Um, Where's the truck? Hey, Antoine, there's no grandeur here, Antoine. Where's the hey, Mac is like, yeah, Antoine, hey, hey, my male, my male, my male. Yeah, the truck with the cringe you by Shai. It's what? And yeah, they, it's been hijacked. <laughs> <laughs> so can you realize there's some niggas in the car see, right now? He look on the rear. Yes, sir. Ayasha, Ayasha. He look on the rear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, the niggas were drinking cringe because it came as doula. <laughs> now they know. <laughs> Shit, man. Uh, we before, need to plug each other. We gotta, man. Oh, shit. Uh, before we head out, Ghost Lady, oh, shit. Rings of Power, are you still watching? I'm still watching. Are we still together? We're still together. Yeah? Are you watching? Yeah, of course, course man. Good, yeah. Good. It's one of my favorite I, series at I, the moment. I need to watch. Rings of Power, you gotta, bro. You yeah, man. I, I'm, instead, I've been spectating the... the commentary. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've been, I've been watching the... I haven't gotten into it. I haven't had time. Okay. Mm. But, again, we're having this, like... Racial debate on stuff online, mm. I see. Because people are like, you know, like the proper Lord of the Rings fans yeah. are like, yo, where the black elves coming from? <laughs> yeah. you know, were, which one is this one? one? <laughs> which one is this one? <laughs> where these where these black elves coming from? <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're trying to be inclusive. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it used this, to be a white world. <laughs> no, no, I know, but also it's fantasy. Right? Yeah. So, fantasy, let's, so it's, it's fantasy. So it's like you can always reimagine fantasy. Exactly. But and you, you gotta have move the, with the time. You have the staunch fans going, yo. Yeah. There was no black elves. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, 
Where do these niggas go? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check it out on Prime Video, man. You gotta check it out. It reminds me, there's actually a debate happening right now with the Black Mermaid. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, hey. Hey. yeah. So I saw, well, the last time I checked, it was sitting the on… Trailer there. The trailer was at 1.4 million dislikes. Dislikes. Damn. You know what I mean? And and here's here's my thing, right? So I, I, wanna, I wanna put it out there, right, guys? Look, I feel like you build an audience, right? Mm-hmm. You build an audience, whether you're a Lord of the Rings franchise, yeah. whether you're a, a Disney or whatever, Little Mermaid franchise, yeah. you build an audience, right? And then later, you have the social responsibility to start being inclusive. Yeah. So now you start throwing in black characters. Yeah. Uh, you know? But now, you're forgetting about that 600 million plus mm. fan base that you've built of… Yeah. Staunch, yeah. staunch. Mm. I mean, not saying that they racist. Mm. We're just going. This is the world you've created. Yeah, for yeah. this yeah. is the world that I know. Hundred percent. This is the all picture that people su- know. Yes, this is the and picture that I know. All of a sudden, you put a picture. All of a sudden, it's a different person. There's, there's a, there's a, there's a little black girl with 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 braids. <laughs> <laughs> <Dreadlocks. laughs> Swimming. <laughs> Underwater. <laughs> Underwater. <laughs> Oh, that's one thing I realized when I was in Dubai. Hey, now it started. When I was in Dubai. I'm a shaking page. So I realized that in SA we are too woke, bro. Mm-hmm. And we inherited that from America. It's uh-huh. not us. It's not us. And bro. that's what I love about uh people in Dubai. They were never stripped away of their culture. That's why they still wear things like this. Mm-hmm. So they are developed in terms of infrastructure and whatnot. But their belief system, their culture hasn't changed. Mm-hmm. They've remained true to it. And I think as Africans, if we remained true to our culture, we'd be far off. Because right now we are so it's like, okay, what are they doing in the UK? We take that. We adapt, yeah. Yeah, yeah what are they doing in the but US? We forget what culture. When, when, it, when it happens to us, the rules change. Yeah. And, 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 and I'll, t- like, oh, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll make an example, right? Uh-huh. So right now, as I say, we're probably championing and we're behind Ariel being black. Mm. Yes, it's about time. It's our chance. It's our chance. When I say that 600 million base of mm. people that has developed from a, uh, uh, let's say, Ariel, uh, 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 Little Mermaid yeah. fan base, right? I'm not just talking about white people. Mm. It's not just white people who are going, yo, you've upset the equilibrium yeah. of things. Yeah. Here. It's it's the Islamic people. It's the, you know, Hispanics. It's the Asian people. It's mm. everyone around the world who goes, this is how we know this thing. Bro, you, you make such a perfect example because right? I'm a staunch fan of Survivor. Mm-hmm. And as the world, like especially in America, has become more woke, they've become more woke in Survivor. And it's not what I subscribe to. It's exactly. not why I like Survivor. Exactly. So now I prefer the Australian one because it's just Survivor. It's not now the American and one is more political. Yeah, yeah they're you have trying to, take to all the LGBT. Y- yeah, which what, is nothing what wrong. Race, what what? But but again, if you like, and that's my argument is that guys, this is a fantasy world, mm. right? And 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 I'll flip it on us and I'll go. Right now we're shooting Shaka Zulu. Mm. Right? Mm. Finally. Mm. Finally, we're going to have Shaka Zulu in shout Zulu. Out, shout yeah. Out, yeah. Shout yeah. Out. Shout out. Shout out to Mnaga. Did he get the role? Yeah. Because you listen to Mnaga's build like Henry Kaila. Henry Kaila. No, it was not that comparison. <laughs> Check, man. Episode 310. <laughs> Yes, Shaka Zulu. No, so, so Shaka is we, 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 we're doing Shaka Zulu. We're redoing it and it's going to be in Zulu. Because mm. I don't know if you guys remember, the first one was in English. Yeah. yeah the was. one with... Serious? With Henry. With it was in English. Yeah, it was in English. That, and you, like, I only realized later when, when DJ Import that I work with yeah. played me old clips and you could hear the general going, yeah, too cumbersome, general. I'm like, wait, <laughs> whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> the only Zulu was like the backtracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bum, like, bum, yeah, bum, yeah. Bum, Boom. There was a scene when Shaka ran away hey. and then the lady was singing Ushaka Uya Kichima Ushaka Uya Kichima and then you see him climbing a mountain Ushaka Uya Kichima That was the only Zulu in Shaka Zulu Other than that everything was English right So so now which brings me back to my example mm. is if we're really woke and inclusive and whatnot, mm. then we won't have a problem with having 
Asian actors in Shaka Zulu. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, now, fuck, now Shaka, Shaka, Shaka Zulu. Some white people in the Zulu yeah. tribe. You know, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. He could be Asian. So, Shaka could be Asian. Shaka could be an Asian mm. guy. Uh, or we have members of the LGBTQ mm. community. As, you know what I mean? As the All of a sudden, you're going to upset everyone. Mm. No, this is not what, what. But now we're getting upset at a bunch of people who are going, yo, Ariel wasn't black mm. when we started this out. I get uh, you. Uh, 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 Lord of the Rings didn't have, you know, black elves and what. So, so it's about... It's wh- like having a white soul. Imagine. Imagine a white soul. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> John Flissman. <Yeah! laughs> Ah! I, I get why I woke. Ah! It must be inclusive, right? It must be inclusive. Emergency. <laughs> An Asian ghostly. <laughs> so young. <laughs> Podcast and chill. So young is here. Sol Kuamas is here. Sol, what is the beer this week? Just because we're trying to be inclusive. <laughs> then we lose this. Yeah. Then we lose yeah, this. The you. people that have you're helped right, you get to a hundred yes. million views mm, yeah. are going to be upset. Yeah, you're right, man. Do you I know what I mean? You. So we gotta, we got to be sort of cognizant of I'm how, telling you. How, we, how we introduce Pops, certain Pops, this wokeness is killing us, bro. It's, ki- it's we killing We got to go back us. to our roots. That's why I love all these celebrities who are twasaring and whatnot. That's the only way, bro. We got to go back to our roots. I'm telling you, this wokeness. It's an American thing, bro. Yeah, it's foreign. It do- it doesn't for us. fit. Also, I feel like we we're going through a lot of other challenges. Mm. Yeah. We're not at woke level yet. Yes, mm. we're not at woke level. You know, we're yet. still dealing with other things. And I hear you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could never date Munto to Imagine Nippies all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, and then? Malum again. Malum. Wenza, Lumpana Sekaya. Say a fool. Say a fool. Say a fool. Say a <laughs> hey man, we are here. This has been podcast and chill. Round of applause for our guest calls. Pop Oh fuck, man. Yo, thank you so much for having me, guys. No, man. Thank thanks for having thank me as well, man. Me. At your, at your, uh, your the show. Birthday show. Oh, oh man, that dude, was, that's... bro. There was so much love in the room there, man. Dude. Dude, my, yo, my mom was so happy when she saw you and Saul, bro. Yeah. It's like, yo, next time you're going to make piece in your neck. Yo, I'll let you this one. I'll let you this one. I'll let you this one. Oh man, it was, it was beautiful. Honestly, my birthday show was so magical. Uh, it was uh, it was the first big thing that happened after, after lockdown. Being, after being on, on, on the podcast. Oh, okay, right? oh, okay. Dope. Uh, and I and I noticed it, right? and, and that's why I'm I'm here saying thank you because I realized how many chillers were also at the mm. show, right? Mm. And how I realized there were so many chillers at the show. Everyone on my birthday show was a surprise, mm. from from the ex to Mac. Mm. Oh. Do you know what I mean? So no one knew. Everyone thought they just come in to see me, mm. and then I got on stage and Luis Ocola was there, mm. oh. was there Celeste, so, and then I was just, I was like, oh, of, of course, and also the official DJ for the show. Give it up for Mac G. When I said that, yo, the crowd Went lost crazy. their minds. People stood up. People were screaming. Yeah. It took us time for them to settle down before we could carry on at the oh. show. Yeah. And then Mac comes onto stage. Hey, show, show, show. <laughs> and then he sits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you forgot to put a pillow for you. He put pillows. No one breathed me. <laughs> In the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you see this? <laughs> hey man. Yo man, but, Shout out to but you. that honest, was beautiful. Honestly, though, honestly, I appreciate it, man. Saul was also there, yeah. you know, like so to see you guys there, the support, you know, uh, ah guys, thank you so much, man. Like from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate that show. That show was the first because that show happened two days after they announced that we could open up now. Mm. So I had already sold out capacity. We opened up more tickets. Those tickets sold out and it became this like huge thing. Man. Yeah. So, what are you doing now? What are you busy with? 
Yo, dude, right now I am I'm going I'm I'm going through what Saul's going through. Yeah. Oh. The chicken pox are coming. <laughs> nah, they're coming. I can feel them. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm I'm honestly booked and busy. busy. Today, oh yes. Yeah, crazy season now. It is crazy season. And and like I said, everything from this year, like my year has just had this huge trajectory. Like it's just and and right now my calendar is full. Like today was supposed to be my first day off. Oh. <laughs> All I had was a, a Zoom call and a presentation to do. Yeah. But you know when 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 the call comes in, hey. yes, when the shit calls, when the shit calls, hey. yes, yes, I'm there. Yes, so then the tribute we miss you so can we? Hey man, we are so, here. So man, yeah, chill, book, man. booked and busy. Um, yeah, yeah, man. And then after this crazy season, I'm going back on the road, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. yeah. We wanted to... Are we still going back on the road together? Man? Yeah, dog. Nah. Me, I've, me, I've got the, the thing is on lockdown. Okay. I've got the, the venues on lockdown. Yes. When you're ready, yeah. we are doing that show. Yeah. I even got a call from Sun Coast. Damn. In Durban. Damn. There's a lady who called me from Sun Coast. At, I'm funny next. I'm funny Mali. I'm funny next. Mfuna nizo yenza i i kreli nyaga sol penduka la ne live show yenu la. Organize the venue. I'll do everything. All you gotta do is just come here. Bro, we've been speaking about it for years, bro. Let's do it, man. There's a lady who, if we do this for her, yeah, they're gonna put her on. Ah, and she can give us access. So lovely. Let's do it. Done deal. I'm gonna speak to the team. It's done. Mm-hmm. Right. Clean man, we are here. Ghost lady, anything you wanna say? Uh, no, guys. Thank you so much, Paul. Ghost lady, beautiful. Yeah. Show. You have no idea how happy I am to finally like. This is my third time, and then I get to finally see you. Oh, you've never seen her before? I didn't even know Ghost Lady colored. No, but it's no. Can't be for a whole time, Berenice. We still thinking next and the belly girl, yeah. Can't be. I'm checking the pearl, yeah. <laughs> Just adding mystery. Hey man, can yeah. you sign out with the biggest song in Dubai I've right met now? You before. <coughs> you I know, just I know. Don't met. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah, oh. can you play the biggest song in yeah. Dubai right now? Where is oh, it? Yeah, 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 Dubai. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Playing out. It lives this South episode Africa of range. podcast and chill. Yeah, man. From the shake himself. Hey. Yeah, man. You know how this song came about, no? So Sfiso, who's Saul's uh, manager. Yeah. He works with Sir Trill and them, right? So mm-hmm. I went to the studio. They played me about twenty tracks, dog, for the EP, right? So I'm like, yeah, these are dope, man. But I'm looking for the sound, man. This is what I'm looking for. So explain. And then they gave me the song. I'm like, this is the one. Did they, oh, so as you explained it, they played you something. You're like, this, this is the one. one. They just threw it away, bro. They were not going to use it. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. This is a banger, though. Yeah. yeah. Now it's the biggest song in Dubai. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. <laughs> Habibi. Hey. Habibi. Hey. Habibi. Yeah. Habibi. <laughs> It's Mac G, Sertru, Bailey, M Keys, in Canteen. Do a do a radio intro for it there. All right, thank you. I'm going to say it. What's 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 the? It's a Sertru. Sertru, Bailey, M Keys, in Canteen. In Canteen. It's Bailey, the Sertril, Mac G, in Cantini. Keo Yazala, all the way from Dubai, here in South Africa, with the Sheikh himself. Hare Khaling Mino, Wadi Jaja. Hey, hey.
Sebastian, oh hey, I get caught on tin, thank you Zinki, oh hey, singa pish, I'm in a Sebastian, oh hey, I get caught on tin, thank you Zinki, oh hey, but for now I'm in a low, I think I'm below, why do I need to go low? But you're humble, I'm in a low, but for now I'm in a low. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo even when they ask you, how sabi do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistiri. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.